Welcome in to the Business on Purpose podcast. Scott Beebe, your host, the head coach, the founder, and the chief liberation officer here to liberate you from the chaos of working in your business. Spend less time working in it, more time working on it, so that you can take the skill set, the gift that God has given you, and be able to serve, serve, serve. Um, I had an interesting story. I want to tell you about a story that happened uh, involving us. And it happened with a local small business, which can always make it awkward, especially when it's a more of a negative situation. Um, and I'm going to make it totally anonymous because I want you to pick up on the principle. And quite frankly, the way the business handled it, they just did a beautiful job of it. And um, to honor them and all of that, I just want to keep it anonymous. So that's why I'm going to do that. Um, so let me tell you what happened. We had a family member go in uh, for an appointment with this particular small business. They sat down, they went through their appointment, they did everything that they needed to do to conduct business. And in the midst of it, there was a freak situation that happened. And the freak situation, what ended up happening in the process is that it was going to require a pretty pricey um, reconciliation to the freak, kind of the freak of nature that went on during the uh, during the, uh, the the transaction, the point of time. Again, I'm being intentionally vague and anonymous, but I think you'll get the point here in just a minute. I do want to lay the groundwork. And so through that situation, the process kind of called for, uh, you know, we, we need to know right now. We need to know right now. And so that created tension. And even though n- neither sides were uh, particularly careless or or even overly emotional or whatever, um, the reality was is that the process in and of itself was just a it was just a bad process. You know, it's just uh, and and not on anyone's side. It's just the way that the the situation kind of happened. Um, even though there was contractual agreement with the situation, it just was still sideways, and both sides kind of agreed that it was sideways. And so. The, the situation was over, the appointment was over, everybody left, but both sides kind of left with a bad taste in their mouth. And so I meet with a couple of guys every week and I, we were having a conversation and just in the context of that conversation, this story that had just happened to a member of our family fit within the context of that conversation. I told these guys uh, privately because we talk about everything privately. I, told him the scenario and told him what happened and told him it was a frustrating situation. And both of these guys told me, you need to tell the business owner. And I said, well, uh, there's a problem. I don't have a relationship with the business owner. And so for us right now, the organization that we were having the appointment with is more of a, it's kind of a, kind of a generic organization to us and, and no offense to them. It's just, we didn't have a relationship. And one of the guys I was with, I said, I, I know the owner of the business. I'm going to call him. And I said, well, you can't, man. It's, this is all private. And he's like, no, no, no. You work with small business owner. I'm a small business owner. He's a small, you know, the other guy in our group's a small business owner. What would all of us want to happen to small business owners? And so I said, well, you, you know, do whatever you want. And so he reached out to the owner of the business that we had, one of our family members had the appointment with and ended up talking to them and uh, the owner of the business called me directly and uh, was totally above board and uh, and everything else. And we had a, a really, I, I think, a, a beneficial and a thought-filled conversation uh, just about the scenario and the way that I laid it out was this is what my ears heard and this is what my family's ears heard, uh, the family members that were a part of it. And I said... Uh, and on the same perspective, this he was like, "This is all right, great. This is what we have documented, and so we'll just kind of start from there." So we started down the road of the conversation, and I want to tell you an idea that birthed out of this that I think is important for you as a small business owner because we're all going to have sideways situations. Number one, as the small business, it is always mm, maybe there's some exceptions, but let me just kind of generically say, it is always good to have a soft answer. Because the proverb's true, where there's soft answer turns away wrath, right? And so we can just talk unemotionally, thoughtfully, 
hey, let's just kind of go on what we hear, what we think we know right now. No accusations, no anything like that. Let's just have a conversation around this. And then throw some ideas. So here was an idea that came out in this kind of conversation. Um, You say, hey, next time your team meets, what if, because this transaction required money and it was a freak thing, it only happens a couple of times a year, very rare situations, over, I guess, hundreds or thousands of transactions as it happens. What if we set up a pot and, and it was a kind of an extra pot of money. We even baked that into the cost of everything else, but set up an extra co- a pot of money. And whenever one of these freak scenarios happened, we, we Savannah bananaed that thing. Go listen to episode 85 on the podcast. You'll get what I mean by customer experience and customer workflow. But what we do is instead of kind of going through a very contractual um, process of, hey, well, this happened, therefore, this needs to happen by contract. What if instead you said, you know what, this is such a freak accident. We're going to have some fun with this. Hey, don't worry about it. We're going we're gonna to figure this out on our end. We're going to, uh, don't even worry about paying it, even though your contract says you need to pay this amount. Um, we, we've, we've got it taken care of in some things we've already set up. And so we're going to end up taking care of it on our end from a payment standpoint. If you could take care of it from your standpoint on this end, but let's have some fun with it. Hey, this happened. Do you think this happened because of, and then just start monkeying around, laugh about it, have some fun with it. Don't cast blame any one direction, but instead go, Hey, this is a fluke, kind of a freak thing on both ends. And we're going to try and make the best of a really bizarre situation. And so ask yourself, how can we make the best of a really bizarre situation? And then do what Jesse Cole says, do what every other business does, but do the opposite. Every other business says, well, this is what the contract says, so this is what you got to do. Instead, you could come back and say, you know what? It's just kind of a freak thing. We tried our hardest. You tried your hardest. And it just some things just break. And there's nothing we can do about it because we live in a broken world. And so through that, let's make a solution out of this where we can all kind of laugh and have some fun with it. Uh, And that's going to be a win-win. So what is the win-win? And I think that's the powerful thing. And they did a great job of coming back. And and hopefully we held up honor on our ends to say, hey, we're not mad at anybody. Uh, All we recognize is a broken process. So how do we fix the process? How do we get the process to where it's a remarkable process where people can't help but talk positively about you because of a great process that you've put in place? Bottom line is, guys, when things break, and they will, let's find the win-win. And so instead of, you know, kind of saying, ah, they suck and I don't like them and they're mean and whatever, to reach out and go, hey, what's the win-win on this thing? Um, and, and honestly, there's sometimes I don't want to call out because I, I even told this particular business owner, I, I don't want to be that guy. Like, I don't want to be that dad that calls in about this because you can get labeled that really easy, especially in my line of work. I, I work with a lot of small businesses here locally. It's a privilege that we have. It's an honor that we have, and so I, I don't. I you know, I'd, I'd rather eat something uh, that hurts and stings a little bit than to tarnish, quite frankly, a reputation that we're trying to build up. One of service and thoughtfulness and intentionality and uh, liberating small business owners from their chaos. Um, and so in that, looking for the win-win. So a, a takeaway I got from it is I need to do a better job of speaking up thoughtfully and kindly when things like that happen, uh, and not just privately, but going straight to the small business owner in a spirit of kindness and thoughtfulness and win-win. And on the other end, the other side of the learning was let's create a win-win process out of something that was just kind of unavoidable. Um, but we'll create a new process out of it. So anyway, I hope that helps. I wanted to relive that scenario for you. I thought it'd be helpful for you because it actually involved our family with a local small business. And, uh, but it affects a lot of small businesses around because of the nature of our work. So I thought it would be helpful for you. I want you to ask yourself, what is the win-win in just an unavoidable situation right now as you try to live out your business on purpose? You know where you always start is your vision. If you need help with that, go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision. We've already provided the tool for you right there. All you got to do, provide the sweat. That's right. All right. I'll see you next time right here on the Business on Purpose podcast.